What is up YouTube, it is Matty and here we are in another Matty Clashing With episode and yes I'm in the clan G&E at war, um, must say another German clan so I, um, I've i got to love the Germans I guess because I'm visiting half of Germany <laughs> in, in this series so uh, yeah huge shout out to these guys, I mean um, to there's uh, quite a few players in here which are I've got a decent knowledge and um, and are adapting to the three star strategies, which is great. Um, the, the the I suppose the main core of the clan, or the, the not not the core, sorry, but they, what they what they do is accept a lot of um, lower level players. So you'll see they'll they'll have some town or tens, some town or nines, and a few town or eights, and then they'll just accept a bunch of town or five, sixes, and sevens, and even lower potentially, because it creates a little bit of an easier matchup for them. Which is fine, you know, if they're they're aware that they that they're sort of learning or adapting into the three star strategies. So in that sort of transitional period of where they're becoming a war clan, um, they are opting to um, to get the war wins under their belt. Which you know, it, it, it is what it is. Um, so if we look at their war log, it's actually looking quite good, other than the loss to Hubris, um, which must have been close because it was 121 apiece. But you'll see 45 man wars. Um, with not a huge amount of losses in the actual log for him. So if we go back to the war before the one I was in, 131 to 19, you'll see Tunnel 10's two starred, a lot of the Tunnel 9's three starred, and basically getting huge scores on the board, which is quite interesting. Um, so let's focus on the war I was in. It was a, and, I'm, and I've got to say, you know, really sound guys, really open um, people who are looking to, to learn. Um, and I, I did offer some advice on quite a few raids, and um, definitely one I'm going to show at least anyway. Um, I think there was two ra two raids I'm going to show today that um, I offered a little bit of input on. You know, it's all about building that. And again, users of Clash Caller, so they get it, they uh, call their targets. So there is some form of organisation within the clan um, itself, and um, you know, share and we're and working on each other with plans and that sort of thing although um there are some people that just yolo and uh, just go in without really thinking so um i would say they're at a transitional stage and they need to um to get the core if they're going to accept so many noobs that's fine at the lower level but their core needs to be strong dedicated players if they want to sort of make it in the war community shall we say so um but yeah, really interesting clan to visit, really nice. They're up for their 100th win soon as well, which is going to be pretty cool for them if they can uh, nab it. In fact, oh no, I was going to say his uh, war day started, but um, let's go into the war that I was involved in. So 130 versus 90, looking at the map, there were four Tunnel 10s, so one got away, um, one Tunnel 9. That may have an, an available 135 stars, 131 being the target with four Tunnel 10s, they hit 130, so... Yeah, pretty good. But you'll see if we if we drop lower down to like number twenty four um, out of forty five, you're gonna see a, you know a, a low tunnel six moving on up to like number nineteen. I think we're moving into the tunnel sevens. Yep, and then moving up to about number I think thirteen twelve twelve is the kick um, the cut off I believe. Um, but yeah, great great job by the guys. The one thing I will also note is that in this war, the enemy didn't fill a single CC. So no clan castle troops, which is a huge advantage. Um, so yeah, yeah, and they, they didn't even... And you can see a lot of the attacks. I mean, they only used like 45% 40, um, of their attacks, the enemy. And uh, we used, say, two-thirds. Um, or just over. So uh, yeah, a lot of missed attacks as well. But... Hey ho! Still a great, um, still it was still a really nice experience and a really good group of guys. So uh, first up, we're going to show is number fourteen, Rafa. Um, he's a town hall. I'd say eight point five. He's only, only, only just gone town hall uh, nine. Hasn't even had a chance to upgrade his hogs yet. Um, so still sort of weighted and considered a town hall eight for most part. Um, only bought three spells, and you can see um, with his uh, poison as well. Um, taking on a Tunnel 8, so he's, he's almost, I'd, I'd say he's pretty much there on Tunnel 8. <laughs> um, but let's have a look at the attack anyway, because it was um, it was a good one. So, you can see, you'll you'll see that he's got his um, base knowledge down, his um, specific placement on his wizards, he's creating the funnel. A um, little bit of advice, I would start from the outside inwards um, when I'm doing the funnel, um, to make sure that the, uh, the outer layer goes down first, so that when your king goes down and your queen goes down, they go the right way. Um, 
Also, I normally try to offset the uh, the golem from the wizard tower so that it doesn't have a risk of splash damaging the wall breakers. Unfortunately, the wall breakers just went AWOL and uh, they, they were, I don't know what the hell they were doing, but uh, he was trying to break in. Add a pecker in there as well, which is a good call actually for a town on all eight. Um, Tunnel 8 on Tunnel 8, should we call it, because it adds that little bit of extra DPS in um, to go and help take down the base. And watch this. While the core is distracted, while um, a lot of the defences are um, not focusing on the Hog Riders, um, he's got them down already. Put the heal spell in, a really nice placed heal spell as well. It's going to keep the Hogs in it for pretty much the whole duration of it. They're going to carry on moving through the base. And then looking at the second heal spell placement, which is coming soon... Um, nice waiting on the timing as well, so you can already tell this guy gets it. Um, I would have placed the heal spell slightly higher just so that they're in for the wiz arch tower, but it really didn't matter. And the guy walks away with a swag heal spell, so sick attack. Yeah, just knows his stuff. Um, and it's always good to see an attack of this um, when when you can walk away like that in the <laughs> with the extra heal spell. So, um, great attack. Moving on through to number 12. Were 12 was it? Skiller, he's the man. Let's have a look. So again, another, this is a um, pretty shocking town on 9 layout to be honest, but um, already got a giant bomb spot detonation at the start of the raid if you know where they are. Um, why not? It's always good to, to get rid of them. Um, doing a stone uh, shattered goho. Sorry, so cup. I like the fact he's gone heavy on the wizard to where the king is. He knew that the wizard was uh, the king was going to immediately target the golem, so that was um, nice scouting there. Dropping the uh, wizards down to create the uh, to start taking down the outer layer. The golems moving in, king and queen going in. There's no chance of walking here. Not, the funnel's been perfectly created. There are a couple of things I would say to improve on that could have been improved on this raid. The jump spell was very late. Should have got the jump spell down a lot sooner. You'll see. So he's he's, he's pretty much taken down this whole compartment. You see the hogs are already going in from the one side, so they're going to flank and. Um, He's already got giants down to distract as well, but he's basically coming in from the whole of the the, the nine o'clock side all the way, basically the entire eastern side of the base, going down while the kill squad are moving in. So perfect timing as well. Now I could have got the jump down a bit sooner, but I suppose he was focusing on getting the hogs in because by the time the hogs have got to the core, the queen's just able to start hitting the town hall, and now the raid's basically over. Um, didn't even need that heal spell. Could have just swagged that on away, and um, yeah, really nice. Um, nice understanding, I would say, because he knew he got the funnel right, got the wall break in right, got the uh, the kill squad element of the raid right, and the hog drop. So nicely done, put together. Um, good raid. Can't can't fault it. Um, apart from the late jump. Now moving through to Zhao. Let's have a. Look. I, I presume this is pronounced Zhaoson. Um, but then again, I can never pronounce anything right and always get mocked for it. But hey ho. Um, doing a. It's not. It's a cold-blooded Lalu. So going to use a single golem, and I did. I did talk to uh, Zhao on this. I said he asked. Um, he wanted a Lalu unit and asked where the entry point should be and stuff. And I said, you know, just a single giant, a single golem will do. There's no CC to worry about. Just go in there and get the job done. Get the king and the queen in, and they'll they'll do the work for you. The king will get the queen. The queen will get the EAD, and you can. And I told. I suggested he does. Um, the uh, the clockwise Laloon approach as well instead of a, a surgical drop. So if you're gonna the first hound should have been in more. I'm gonna pause here. The first hound should have been more. I would say from uh, almost by this army camp. And um, so it swoops across, and then the second hound coming in from down south to sweep across it as well again, just so to to make sure it's tanking. Because you can see already one of the loons has been targeted by the arch tower because the hound wasn't quite tanking it. Um, so that's why you normally start from like the first available defense and then move around like that um, And traditionally you drop the first and second hound on the first air defense to make sure that they're, they're it's tanked the whole time And then the third hound uh, goes and I also suggested he used is that he only used three hounds And the reason I did that is because they were level six air defenses um, He had four like four rage spells as well to uh, to take down the um the core and everything so i thought he'd be fine with three hands and lo and behold the extra loons did come in handy and he was able to get the job done with them and he had a hound and a, and he had a hound kicker as well so uh nice raid could the, definitely could have been a, um quite a bit smoother on the hound loon drop i think a bit of practice will um will get him perfect on that but you can't you, you can never argue when someone's got the three star anyway so uh, great raid good attack um good to see
Moving up through, we're now going in for not 10, not 8, 7, uh, which is the final attack of the um, that they did. And then I'm gonna, I'll show my attacks and then that'll be it for the recap. You drop the max attack and I'm going to say this now, this was a really clean, really nice max attack. I, um, I watched it back and I thought, perfect, um, got it all right. So you'll see here, Earthquake down, opening up all the key compartments he wanted to do, allowing him into the expo should his kill squad allow him to push in that far. Golem's down, Wizard's down in the right spots, breaking in, test wall breaker first, always do a little bit of a further drop than that because if a, a little mini bomb was there it would have hit your other wall breakers as well. So. Um, my advice is to allow that to go a little bit longer. Golem's moving in perfectly. King, queen, everything down at the right sort of time. There isn't a clan castle, so he doesn't need to worry about that. Um, got the rage and the heal for the kill squad as well. So all the traditional um, elements of the max attack. Um, it's all working nicely so far. Rage spell down was, a, I think, an appropriate time, a timing and position. Uh, got the Golems rushing up front. Quick King going up front as well, which is nice. He's going to drop his ability soon. Um, Heal spell down. It's all work. It's all just nicely done so far. I'm I'm, I'm impressed. And uh, you're gonna see here soon. His, his queen's in a good spot. She's gonna carry on taking the buildings down. And as soon as he's done the ability, all he's got left to do is do the la loom portion. So first hand, I'd say coming in, swooping in from across, and it does, which is perfect placement. Um, dropping the loons as the defenses get distracted. I'd say, yeah, I was going to say start doing your other loons now. Second hand should have been that little bit lower onto the um, first air defense. Definitely always put your first two hands on the first. Because now, look, the air defense is taking down the pups and then it's going to take down the loons. Um, and then throw your third air, um, th th hound in on the final air defense. So I think it was just a slight miss drop on that second hand. I don't think he intentionally did that, but that's fine. Um, and you'll see that the uh, the experts are down. The, 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 the base is wrecked. If that pound pops, that would be... Oh, look at that. I love it when that happens. Popped on cue. And there you go. Max attack delivered to perf almost perfection and a very nice raid. Mega um, was the guy that invited me to, to the clan. So huge shout out for to you. It's your reason I'm, I came and visited. I had suggested he did the max attack on that base because it looked ideal for it. And it worked out fine for him. So impressive to see you uh, drop in a raid like that. Um, which one was the one I wanted to show first? Yeah, this one. So here's a really interesting attack because I three started, it, but watch Mega's attack and then watch my attack because I advise I suggested he did the um the the a uh, Govaho on it. It looked like the perfect base for me. And I'll show you in a second. Let me just um I've got to go find his raid. Bum ba da ba, going through. There it is. Okay, so I saw uh, my idea was if you drop a couple of girl and one girl and down by the bottom defenses here, the wizards can take down that outer layer of defenses. Same on the other side, break in the middle, jump over the mortar, um, Valkyrie's heroes into the core, gut the core, and then just hog the top side of the base. A um, couple of giants down, hogs onto all those point defense, and you've got yourself a three star. It looks quite straightforward. Um, that was my thought on it. I drew a little sketch for him. And he, he delivered it well. The thing was the timing, and you'll see that. Watch how it just doesn't quite work for him. Now, particular, um, I think I, the the fails that I noticed on it, or the the mistakes I noticed on it, we'll watch as we go through. One was the heal spell timing. So let's watch the start. So a couple of golems in, all the defenses distracted. Look, needs his wizards down. I'd have dropped them a lot quicker than that, so the golems are already starting to take the damage. Um, but I said don't break in until the defences are going down. That's the point here. Look, unfortunately the top one of the wizard towers got um sorry, one of the wizards got taken down. But then he's gonna drop a giant down by the cannon to distract it and then our uh, um, more breakers to break in and I thought the golem should redirect. That was my point. Um that's what I thought would happen because the defences they're targeting are no longer there. So I'd have dropped it a little bit sooner, to be honest, um, the giant down, because as soon as those cannons are gone, you can allow the golems to redirect those um sort of flanking cannons on, our, cannons on either side because that was the the issue if the golems redirected the the um the wizard towers would have got killed so the giants down the wall breakers are in everything's going nicely golem one golem redirected one golem didn't which is always annoying valkyrie's in 
Here's the first mistake, I think. Heels down now. No need. The Valkyries aren't in danger. And the problem is you've got quad Teslas in the core. And the point for the heal spell for these was to keep them alive while they take that gut the core. The whole purpose of this raid is to gut the core of the base because the, the, you haven't got many hogs. You've only got 15 and they need to just take down those top layer defences and then be on cleanup. That's the point. So you can see here dropping the king ability the valkyries have died quite quickly um the enemy king's still alive the queen's slowly moving in two giants down and then um the hog drops now i thought he should have targeted the side arch towers so three and nine o'clock arch towers um, and then moved up towards the inwards and i did that in, and in, instead of what um mega did because uh, quite a few hogs have died by the Teslas and while they're sort of pathing around the heal spells. So it just hasn't quite worked. The core didn't go down properly. The hogs didn't path properly. It just, that's sort of the letdown, I suppose, of this raid. Didn't have any uh, cleanup either, even if he'd have got the defences done. Um, so I think it would have been a fail either way. So unfortunately for him, it just it was all a timing thing. Now, watch my point here. Because um, I then did, pretty much did the exact same army. So here it is, look, um, relatively similar heroes as well. So there were, wasn't any major differences on that, but it's all timing. So let's, I, I pick, I do one side at a time, but the exact same sort of golem drop look. Golem, wizards, other side, golem, wizards, um, same point look. Now what... What I did, as soon as the cannon went down, I um, I then would have dropped the giant and the wall breakers to break in. So I'm just letting... One wizard's on a cannon now, which is great. Other wizards are moving forwards. Giant's already down, look. Now I'm just going to wait. I'm waiting for that cannon to uh, to take enough damage to for me to warrant dropping the wall breakers. And I'm in. Golem should have redirected now. There is an arch tower that hasn't died, uh, which needs to die. So uh, I'm hoping the wizards are going to go in and get it. Um, otherwise I'm on my own. Golem then decides to redirect, which is perfect. Other Golem goes up north, and he's just cannon fodder. M but the Valks are going in the jump spell in the exact same spot. Now watch, I'm waiting on the heal spell this time. So waiting, waiting. Valks are now starting to get hit. I'm still waiting. They're moving into the core now. Heal spell all the way over those Teslas. Oops. Um, King's going in now, and they're all under heal. While that's happening, while the core is distracted, Giant in Hogs targeting in the first Arch Tower. And then the other defences. Giant in Hogs targeting that first ar that flank arch tower as well. Then Hogs coming in the north side. Later heal spells and just watch here. So I'm just being very cautious on my heal drops. Making sure I can make the most out of them. And just look, the Hogs are now coming into the core to help out. The pathing's made that they're, they've been super effective. And got Wizard cleanup down already on the right hand side. Um, and the Hogs have now come in. And look how many Hog Riders I've got left. Probably about seven or eight, maybe a bit more. Um, queen alive, golem alive, um, giant alive, king alive. So it's just the timing of it all that um, with the big difference here. Um, you, I've got a swag poison as well, but there wasn't even a clan castle. So, you know, you take these reds with a pinch of salt when there's no CC. It, make, it does make a difference. Um, but yeah, the, the, the importance of this raid for me was I can really emphasize the point of the timing. Um, and how it makes such a massive difference in a raid and I had a, quite a lot of time left at the end of this one as well um, The only the only other raid I did was on number five Which was an you you guys are gonna the only reason I'm showing this one as well is because it's bloody funny um, Look at this base so this is a fresh hit from me um, Looking around I couldn't see any double giant bomb spots. So I was like where the hell are the giant bombs? There's like ten places they could be so I didn't try too much to guess but what I thought was with the air defense positions, you can see the cannon at 12, at 3, and the, sorry, the arch tower at 12 and 3, and the cannon at like 130. Um, so they're all out of range of their air defense. So I thought, okay, well, if I loon those, two loons on each arch tower, one loon on each, on the cannon, um, that's pretty much all the defense has gone, at minus the mortar in that section. So I don't need to then worry about that part of the base. Then if I send a single golem, just jumping straight over, and bear in mind, I don't need to worry about a CC. With my king and queen on, we don't really need to do much funneling. A minion on each camp, maybe. A couple of wizards to help enforce um, the kill squad. I can send my king and queen straight in to get the enemy queen. And also take down some defences over there as well. So, then I've only got this sort of bottom section in the core of the base. And with three heal spells and 32 hog riders. So, I I mean, I was just having having a bit of a lol. I dropped a couple of giants down to distract in the hog. And thought, I'll just send the hogs in and just heal them as I need to. 
So watch where this went right and wrong. This is quite funny. So I dropped a, a couple of single barbs down to distract the arch tower for a second, just in case it was like a seeking air mine there and I needed to rely on uh, one loon or something. Um, but I didn't need to, it's fine, there was no traps there. So the um, I got a bit of extra added value. Look at my loons. My loons have gone all the way through to the mortar and taken that mortar down, which I didn't expect. Minion on each camp to funnel, golem down. I think I dropped a couple of wizards as well. Jump straight in, look. Um, queen, king, all them in, doesn't really matter. They can just go over there. And even if there was a CC, well, I could have used a poison and just taken it down um, without much effort, really. As long as the queen went down in a defense, maybe, I was fine. So at this point in the raid, all I need to do now is just hog the rest of the defense. So I wanted to get the arch tower down because I thought that could start hitting my queen or something. So I send in like half the hogs now. And they're going they're going nicely. They're moving into the core, which is what I wanted. Um, start heading into the core. Drop the heal spe down, spell down. Look, because defenses are, are distracted, it's making my life a little bit easier, which is the key point about timing. Now, I thought those hogs would get that cannon. Now, because it was a spring trap, which I barely noticed... Um, yeah, they just died. Uh, they they went into insta death. So I thought eleven hogs left. So I just spammed them into uh, to the final um, to that cannon to just go and reinforce and help out. And look here, I've, I've got like twenty five hogs left or something absolutely insane. I'm like, I've got a heal spell. Don't need it. I'm not going to even bother. So I'm like, I've absolutely destroyed this base now. Um, but where are the giant bombs? I was like, what? Uh, where, where are they? Because I've got loads of hogs left. I haven't really encountered any giant bombs. So anyway, the hogs start going on clean it. Watch it. Watch this. This this is bloody typical. Giant bomb one. Oh, giant bomb two. Oh, drop my heel. Oh no, I've just wrecked my entire cleanup. Didn't even use the giant. So now a raid where I was going to have like forty seconds remaining. It's going to be down to the wire. And when I say wire, there was like one second left on the timer. So it came down to the proper wire. An extra giant bomb as well took down my final hog just for, just for giggles. And the troops got spring trapped. So traps have absolutely destroyed me. Now if this was a cleanup attack, I could have sent in a one or two hogs and tripped all those giant bombs. Um, at the start of the raid, when I, once I dropped my loons down. So for a cleanup, it would have been the easiest cleanup in the world. But... For a, just a surprise factor, this ba this raid completely threw me off. So uh, very funny, unfortunate. Luckily, my cl wizard, the wizard clutched it and got me the hundred percent. So a couple of cleanup wizards there did me the world of good. Um, and yeah, I was able to take down the two top tunnel nines. So um, tunnel ten attacks were, were, were nothing to um, nothing to scream about. But the point of this video, I've had a I had a really good time with this clan. It's a shame they they didn't fill the CCs. I'd have liked a bit more of a challenge. Um, on the town or nine level, um, got to see some good, some decent, decent enough attacks though. Um, and yeah, thank you for having me, guys. I hope you enjoyed my visit, and let me know what your thoughts were in the the comment section. And I'll catch you guys later. So yeah, again, if you want me to uh, visit your clan, I have got a schedule that's taken me up to about mid November now. Um, ridiculous, I know. So just keep, let me know in the comments, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.